guys and welcome to my channel i don't even want to say welcome back because it's been a very long time i think the last time i posted a youtube video was a good eight months ago so it's not a welcome back it's welcome to my channel i literally feel like a new youtuber right now i don't know if i should look at the lens or look at the viewfinder but it is what it is i'm gonna wing it until i get it right again so welcome to my channel for those of you who do not know i am vicky baloyi this is my youtube channel i started it um a few years ago and i took a break eight months ago the last video that i put up was in september imagine like who disappears without saying anything i literally just vanished into thin air i didn't say goodbye i'm coming back or goodbye i'm not coming back i just vanished but luckily some of you do follow me on instagram so you would catch up with me there for those of you that do not you last saw me eight months ago but i am back i'm still me nothing has changed at all a few little things have changed but I am still me, like nothing has changed about myself, about my personality. I'm still the Vicky Baloy that you guys know, that you like. I hope you still like me. But yeah, I am back and I jumped straight into a vlog. I'm not wasting any time. I know that I owe you guys an explanation. Some of you on Instagram said, I don't have to explain anything. I can just swing it like nothing happened. But I think it's only right that I give you guys just a brief explanation of why I took such a very long break. What I've been up to. It's nothing hectic. It's just, you know, things that happen. So, yeah, just normal life things that happen. And you wake up feeling like, oh, you know what? Let me just put this one thing aside and deal with this thing so yeah it's something like that i will tell you guys later for now let us jump straight into our vlog i'm not wasting any time i do have a few errands to run today i just knocked off this morning so i am home for the day and i thought let me just use this day to run errands and what a perfect way to just come back to youtube you know what a perfect way to start my first youtube video after such a very long time so it is a vlog i'm still home now it's around um to 11. <music> to hold a camera anymore while i'm vlogging but first stop is the car wash um my car is so dirty i don't even believe that i drove with this but it's been this dirty i think for the past um two days because there was like a very random short period of time rain that just made it dirty because i was driving from where was i i don't know but yeah there was just weird rain and it just made my car dirty so first stop for the day is car wash because i'm absolutely not going anywhere with this car second stop is petrol station i need to fill up some gas as well i so wish i had someone to do all these things for me but yeah it is what it is for now let me be a big grown adults and just do what adults do so yeah let's head out
Hi guys, so I'm done washing my car. Don't know if you can hear me. There's a lot of noise here. I am at the take a lot pick up point. I'm here to pick up something that I bought online. I'll show you guys when I get home. It's just a small little cute channel. It is so weird to vlogging in public again. camera in the car I just didn't want like to carry anything heavy because I'm going to like buy peace stuff but I wanted to show you guys my comfortable OOTD too good coming so I am back and as you guys so I went to this cam um, I wanted to mainly like get face product as you guys can see that I have a lot of dark spots on my face talking about that I'm very excited to tell you guys something I'll let you guys know though shortly so like I was saying I have dark spots and a lot of hyperpigmentation like all over my face so I decided that I'm going to try two new products from the Garnier vitamin C range so that's what I wanted to maybe get and I thought let me just get um, other products that I'm out of as well so first up I got a body wash I use this um, Lux soft kiss body wash or shower gel i don't know what you guys call it i prefer calling it a body wash this is what i usually go for and then i also got um sheet masks from cure if you've been on this channel you know that i usually go for the collagen one and then i also got um some sponges for the face I used to never use these, um, I'd use them sometimes but I recently started like being consistent with using sponges and I love them. Also got some sunscreen, the Demo Pal sunscreen. I am not like 100% a fan of the sunscreen, however the sunscreen that I absolutely love, the Eucerin one, is so expensive, it's like 380 I think and I don't know I am just not my pocket doesn't allow me to spend 380 on sunscreen so I chose that so I decided that you know let me just um, settle for this one because it's more on the affordable side but I'm not really a fan it does the job at the end of the day and then I also got some sanitary pads and then these are the Ganya products that I am going to try. I have used um, this serum before. They are vitamin C serum with salicylic acid and niacinamide and I loved it. Why did I stop using it? I don't know. But yeah, I've used this before and it worked 
so well my skin was glowing it was brighter so it's back to my skincare routine the product that i'm trying for the first time from the range is this um vitamin c cleansing gel it has vitamin c as well as lemon so i am trying this out for the first time for now i'm just gonna use these two from the range i want to see how they treat my skin and if i see that it is improving then i'm gonna go ahead and maybe add their face cream or the spot corrector but for now i'm gonna try these two i will definitely give you guys an update of how um my skin is improving i also got your soap so yeah that's all that i got and the news that i said i'm really excited to share talking about my skin there's this um aesthetic clinic that sent me an email and is offering me free skincare treatment so they told me to come to the clinic sometime next week they asked when am i available to come do like a skin consultation and i said that i'm available next week tuesday or wednesday so they will let me know when to pull through for a skin consultation it's going to be my very first personal not personal professional um skincare journey i've always done like topical over-the-counter my own research trying to like battle with acne and sensitive skin for the longest time and most of the time it is not working as you can see right now my skin is not in a good condition so i am so excited to see what professional treatments can do for my skin i'm definitely going to take you guys along i hope i do get to go next week because i have two off days so yeah that's the only time i'll have next week so i'm really excited to go consult and see what they have for me and what they can how they can help with my skin we also have something from take a lot i'm gonna open it's a oops it's a journal it's a prayer journal so as I was saying, it is a prayer channel. So just a quick one. I've been feeling really out of place lately. I've been feeling alone, lonely. So like I'm just not, I am happy, I'm at peace and all that, but there's something missing. So sometimes I do have moments where i just feel like you know it's like where do i belong where do i fit in so i decided that maybe let me start journaling and it'll make me feel better so i came across this journal on take a lot i just wanted like a simple journal i just searched journal and then this came up first it was on daily deals and i got it for 85 friends and i was it looks way better than i imagined oh my gosh like for the price that i got it for this is so pretty this is the size this is how it is outside i'm gonna take a proper close-up video to show you guys and then this is how it is like on the inside so it's called um my prayer journal 120 days of prayer reflection and praise so i felt like you know what maybe this is what i need because i noticed that i spend a lot of time worrying about things that i don't have thinking about where i'd rather be what i'd rather be doing with who and i end up like <laughs> i'm getting emotional <sighs> okay <clears throat> i'm back i was saying i end up like missing out on 
the moment that I am currently living in because of the overthinking of what could have been all of those things like constantly fantasizing about what I want for myself that I currently do not have so when I saw this um, the prayer reflection and praise I thought maybe let me just sit down and be present in the moment journal write my thoughts down because another challenging thing that I go through is I don't know why I am so emotional talking about this <laughs> but I have to finish talking because I started <laughs> another challenging thing that I am going through is I don't have like many people to talk to and the very few that I have I sometimes feel like you know what I'm bothering this particular person let me just give them space and deal with my thoughts alone so a lot of people obviously like do journal they talk about how journaling helps and I was like let me get a journal and maybe I'll feel better so yeah I decided to go for this I really love it I love how it looks and I cannot wait to use it so that is all we have for today I don't know why am I crying but anyway that is all we have today and I think I'm done vlogging for the day yeah see you guys tomorrow I think if not day after tomorrow hi guys so today is the next day it's Saturday and I'm not alone I'm with a plus one <laughs> and we are going to I don't know the exact place but it's called ground the venue I don't know where is it but we're going there there's like a mini wine event so we are going to spend the day there it's 2 12 now and we are about to go so i'm taking you guys along for the day um i might not vlog much but a little um bits and pieces will do so let's go <laughs> Just the two of us, you and I, just the two of us. You see, it's on Sunday. I'm gonna start working with my bikes. Or buy a new phone. And then use this one for vlogging because I prefer videos. got to the venue it's a very nice child friendly as well which i like it's a very nice ambience there's a live performance live band i don't know whatever you want to call it and the weather is perfect as well so yeah i'm just gonna chill here spend the day i'll show you guys around Please be not far from us. 
us this class. It's a wine class, I'm assuming, <laughs> because it's a wine event. And then also this. What are these? Again? Wine tasting. Yeah, so I think it's like mini tickets to the wine stalls. These are a lot. I definitely won't finish all of them. But yeah, I'll have maybe two or three. That'll be enough. Me, for example. <laughs> But it's almost the end of the day it's currently four o'clock and we're gonna head home soon but before we do we're just chilling not having wine anymore but cold <laughs> My lips are bleeding. So today is a few days after. Please don't ask me about my L sign. I am not removing it. Oh my gosh, my lips are bleeding. I was saying, y'all must not ask me about my Lena sign because I am not removing it until the color is out. <laughs> um it's a few days later since the wine tasting event it's wednesday today and i did mention on i did mention earlier on this vlog that i am visiting an aesthetic clinic they told me to come get um treatments this is annoying me 
so i am here today i just got here i am five minutes late i got lost on the road on the way to here so yeah i kept looking at my lips sorry about that guys so i am here and i'm about to go in i did say that i'll take you guys along the journey and this is day one i am super excited i think today we are only doing a skin consultation oh my gosh this is annoying i am so sorry guys but you have to watch this i don't know what happened they just started bleeding right now like i felt it crack but i am going to put on some I am here. It says closed. I'm not sure why. Yes. Did you get my message that I'm going to be fast? I am so excited. some lip therapy one thing about me i struggle with very dry lips so we did a little um skin consultation they did identify my skin problems and i did tell them also like what do i mainly struggle with and they are currently preparing a treatment for me which i will be doing today so today i'm going to be doing my very first treatment with them the name of the clinic is skin and laser aesthetic clinic it's in johannesburg south the basonia area um it's at basonia shopping center i think but i will confirm with you guys and put it on the screen if i can i will definitely put it on the screen but yeah i think it's I'm at Basonia shopping center. I didn't like really quite check the surrounding because I was rushing, but I'm now waiting to go in for my treatment. I am super excited. Um, yeah, I hope my skin will get better. So while I wait, they brought me a cup of coffee. So I'll have this. Um, it's just a few minutes before my treatment. Oh, at home they did a little note for me here as well love the attention to details yes, but at the moment it's not like too much breakout mm. just a very few my problem is now the acne dark spots that remain behind okay. yeah but i am treating the acne with okay. and what have you been using i wash with um benzic and it seems to be working yeah, because to moisturize. I am using. I try to keep it simple, so I've been using the Epimax Aquas Cream because also, like, I don't want to upset the skin, you know. Yeah, so I try to like use very simple products that don't have much fragrance, and then I recently started using. For the dark marks the Kanye vitamin c range yeah. it's been a few weeks so i hope that it works mm -hmm. but also my skin feels very dry mm -hmm. yeah. even immediately Maybe after your, your will be and then so it causes breakout
So you're doing an extraction now. Mm -hmm. So which treatments do we do last week? We did, um, I did like a mini peel mm -hmm. on you because I wanted to concentrate on the whitening and dampening of the dark spots. Mm -hmm. So I did like a mini TCA peel. So you might experience a bit of flaking. As you can see now, the texture of the skin is quite red. Yeah, it is. Uh, but it does come down after an hour or so. Okay. And then uh, also Okay, so it's not gonna be extra sensitive to the sun. It might be. I did put, did you put um, sun cream. Okay, but you. you need to still be extra careful. Okay, don't overly expose it okay. to the sun. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Thanks. Hi guys. So I just finished. That was a lot. This was my first professional treatment and there was a lot of tangling, that's all I can say for now, but at the moment my skin feels good, the tangling did um Hi guys, um, so sorry my storage got full while I was still at the clinic um, recording. Um, I am done with the treatment. I'm sure you guys can see the glow on my face already. So we did the, the we did a chemical peel that targets um, acne, dark spots, and hyperpigmentation. It was so tingling. It was my first chemical peel, so the experience was quite harsh for a first timer but apparently that's how chemical pills are and your skin does get used to them as time goes and depending on the type of pill as well but overall i am so satisfied with the savings the ambience of the clinic um i will be going back in a few weeks i am looking forward to that as well and i'm looking forward to see how my skin will improve um and i think this is the end of the vlog i'm about to order right now so maybe i might need to close the vlog later but yeah i think this is the end of the vlog i also received a shein order which will be on my next vlog in a week or two i think so yeah thank you so much guys for watching um i hope you guys enjoyed my little comeback um vlog my little comeback youtube vlog thank you so much for watching please do like if you did enjoy this video comment subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed and are new to this channel you can also follow me on instagram where i am much more active i'm posting more content there also brand related content so please do follow me i'm gonna um put my instagram handle on the screen Thank you very much for watching once again and I look forward to posting the next video. I'm also looking forward to interacting with you guys in the comment section. I just want to see your reaction to my comeback to YouTube. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!